Hey there, today I am sharing 21 travel outfits I do not wear on the airplane. My travel tip is to pack these clothes in your carry-on bags. Along with travel tips throughout this video, I will teach you what to not wear when you fly. Now I have a casual style for the airport and the airplane. While you are watching this video, I want you to think of pieces from your closet that you could save for your carry-on bags and not wear them in the airplane. They would fit into the same category as what not to wear when you fly. These travel outfits are going to help you. They're going to help minimize the stress in the airport going through the TSA line. They are going to help you inside the airplane be comfortable and be confident whether you are sitting in first class or in the middle seat of the back row. I bought a brand new Barefoot Dreams cardigan and the ties hang really low past my knees. Some of the cardigans that you could wear for a travel outfit are very long. They're called dusters and that means they go below your knees. One reason I would not wear that inside the airplane is because it is so long and can brush against other things in the boarding area before you even get in the airplane, as well as when you are in that airplane lavatory. The ties will go into the toilet. Picking up that long bottom half of a long cardigan is going to be really, it's going to add extra things to think about when you just wanna to go to the lavatory. <laughs> And there are so many bodily fluids around parts inside the tight, close space inside the lavatory that just save a super long cardigan or a cardigan with ties for your vacation spot. By the way, a vacation travel hack for a really long tie on your cardigan is to stuff those ties inside the pockets of the cardigan. For your airport outfit, do not wear white for two reasons, stains in the airport and in the airplane. One thing that happened to me in the airplane, I had my regular carry-on suitcase. I was pulling it down from the overhead bins. Even though I have had tons of practice packing a carry-on suitcase, it was very heavy. And when I pulled it down from the overhead bin, the wheel scuffed my white jeans. And it's really hard to get a scuff, like that black scuff mark off of white jeans. And number two is food that you may sit on in the boarding area or in the airplane. Think of when the airplane goes through turbulence, maybe even the slightest bit of turbulence, which is normal. A lot of turbulence is normal and it's safe. Think of the coffee that might spill off of your seat mates tray table or the stains that the people have left behind in that boarding area. That's the main reason to just not wear white inside the airplane, as well as do not wear a creamy white gorgeous blouse or sweater even in the winter time. Just save those beautiful pieces for your vacation. I know a lot of you have traveled with the Tide, uh, that pin that helps and then there's also tied sink packets that you can use as well. But to save yourself the hassle, just pack those white jeans in your carry-on bags. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a Houston pilot wife and I share tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world or when you're inside the airplane. <laughs> Be sure to click the bell beside subscribe and you'll never miss one of my free travel tip videos. Because my husband works for an airline, we have a standby uh, policy of what we can wear in the airport or airplane and what we cannot wear. So I do plan my airport outfit. When you are planning your airport travel outfit, I just want you to think of all these points that I'm making in this video. Many of you do not like to go through the TSA line barefooted. Let me know in the comments if that bothers you. So if walking on the airport barefooted makes you feel unclean, do not wear sandals as part of your travel outfit. If you do have TSA pre-check, you do not have to take off your shoes. And if the TSA pre-check has not opened that early in the morning, usually they give you a card or some kind of a sign or just tell you to tell the officer when you walk up to the conveyor belt that you have pre-check and they will not make you take off your shoes. Here are two travel hacks to help you if you have to walk through airport security with your shoes off. One hack is to wear an old pair on the outer layer as a barrier on top of your regular sock. And then when you get through airport security, trash that old pair of socks. And that original pair of socks that you have on against your feet are now still clean. A second travel hack is to buy those cheap, cheap insoles for your shoes and wear that inside your shoes that you're gonna wear on vacation. I just keep these insoles in all of my travel shoes and that way I have just peace of mind that there is a barrier. And when I get home after my vacation, I can trash 
this cheap insole. If this is your first time flying, I do have a video I'll put in the iCards and in the description box below about how to go through the TSA line step by step. And then I also have some terminology for flying that might help you. What you wear through the TSA line can cause delays. Any type of fabric in your shirt, like sequins that I wore through the airport security on Christmas day, I knew better and they had to pull me out of line in the pre-check line to get extra screening. But there are thin, thin silver threads, gold threads that could make the screener alarm go off. And one of my subscribers told me about the gold lining of the pages of a Bible. So you might wanna make sure that's in the gray bin if you are taking a Bible through. Yes, you can wear all of these through airport security and in the airplane, but I'm just wanting you to have less stress of being pulled out and making nervous and maybe forgetting something in the airport or or not having the chance to clean something from someone else's stain so just bear with me and keep going another thing to not wear in the airplane is a shawl because one a lot of them go really low in the back so make sure you pull that thing up if you're in the lavatory when you are holding a tote bag or even a backpack it totally constricts your movement it messes up your whole look as well and it is just cumbersome like things get tangled up. Another reason to not wear a poncho or a kimono in the airplane is when you are trying to get out of your seat, the extra fabric that hangs below your arm gets caught on the seat. And I say that from personal experience. Another thing I saw so much of this summer while traveling is short shorts. Remember when you sit in the seat, those shorts are gonna come up at least two extra inches. It's also really cold inside the airplane, even though you're coming back from the beach. And then also most airplane seats are made of pleather and somehow it makes your legs sweat and the person before you has sweated as well. So just something to think about. I absolutely love this cardigan and I have worn it several times like five years ago, it has no pockets. So you are going to need those pockets for your AirPods or your ticket or your phone real quick or your wallet while you're buying coffee in the airport. So just make sure there are pockets on that cardigan for the airplane and airport. For fall and winter travel, a vest is so fun, but I would not even pack it in your carry-on bags because you cannot take it off if you get hot or when you get hot and tie it around your waist. It's also bulky for taking up a lot of space in your carry-on bags, especially for the trains, the subway in Europe, um, being on a ship again, you get hot and sometimes it's stagnant. And so a vest is just not practical. It's not necessary. There are other things you can take. I want you to not wear a long dress or a maxi skirt inside the airplane for several reasons. Because that fabric is so flowy, it will brush against people's legs, people's shoes. When you're walking in the airport, the bottom is brushing against the airport germs and dirt, especially in restrooms. Think bodily fluids and think of how you can brush against things. It is guaranteed that your skirt or long dress is going to brush against something that you don't want it to brush against. Another item with flowy fabric that could have lots of germs, stains, and dirts, dirt, <laughs> dirt, on them is the wide-legged pants, which are beautiful. Just save those for your vacation. When I do talk about bodily fluids, I mean all kinds of bodily fluids are in the airport and in the airplane lavatory. The plane does get cleaned and sprayed in between every flight now, thank goodness. People, their stomach is messed up or they have throw up issues and it gets everywhere. Even on the carpet, flight attendants just pour a powder in there and sweep it up after a few minutes. So it's still there. <laughs> A lot of you love to wear joggers and I wore joggers. Finally, I found a pair that does not show my panty line. I wore those as my airport outfit, but I did not like my t-shirt that I just bought. It's scoop neck, but it just comes down too long. And what I found out for why I don't want to wear it in the airplane is when I lean back against my airplane seat, if your shirt is a certain fabric, like mine was, I mean, it was cotton or something, it pokes forward. I just found that I was always adjusting because it wasn't hanging right. So be careful about a plunging neckline or a deep scoop neck or a one that starts way out here to scoop 
around your neck. Do not wear slide on boots with no zipper because I lost my balance in those kind of boots trying to take those off years ago. Also for the airplane, it's nice to be able to unzip them and let your feet air out just a little bit as long as they're not stinky feet but it's nice for your feet uh, swelling a little bit and if you do have to take them off. It's also nice having a zipper because you can just pull it down, especially like tall boots. You can pull down the zipper about two inches to let your calf um, have more flow, blood flow. A travel tip that I try to stand by, except this winter, because <laughs> I just bought some tall boots and I will wear those on the airplane. But something to think about is short boots when you're packing in your carry-on bag, they take up less space. So for those fall and winter outfit in your bags, pack shorter boots and then wear your tall boots in the airplane. If you need no-show socks for those short boots that really plunge down around your uh, the arch of your foot, and show your sock. I have a new favorite. I will link it below. These do not show. I've gone through so many no-show socks and these are fabulous. I am also a big proponent of not wearing lace-up shoes in the airport, although I have done it before. If you do wear shoes that have laces, uh, make sure you untie them before it's your time your turn in line at the conveyor belt. Like start untying them as soon as you show your ID to the first TSA officer. That way when you get to the conveyor belt, you're ready to take them off and not hold up the line. Remember when you're planning your airport outfit that belts do not go in the gray bin anymore. The TSA wants your belts and phone and wallet and heavy, heavy bulky jewelry to stay in your carry-on bags through airport screening. I am sure I have forgotten one outfit to not wear inside the airplane. So if you think of any, leave it below in the comments and say, hey, if we have not met yet, I really appreciate your time and I hope you have wonderful travels and cruises again and ships abroad and across our beautiful country. Thanks for your time.